Hey guys, welcome to PCF. Okay, um, in this uh, session, okay, in this video, we are going to discuss about uh, you know dates in period in time intelligence function. Okay, so in time intelligence function, we have a dates in period. Okay, so what is that dates in period? How it behaves? Okay, I will give a very simple example so that everyone can understand. Okay, for that I have taken very sample data. Okay, okay very uh, you know. So each month, so I have entered. You know, you can even you can enter. Okay, first month. Uh, first month I have entered you know, five dates. Okay, so first month I have entered five dates, and then some sales amount, and then second month I have entered five uh, six days some um, sales amount, and uh, third month so so and so I have entered like six months I have entered for the testing purpose. Case. Okay, how uh, this uh, will work? Okay, how this will work? So that uh, for that reason, so okay, I am taking this copy. Okay, I am just taking the copy and I am entering into the Power BI. So just go with the enter data and paste it here. And I'm going with the table name like as a test table name. So test table name and then click load. Click load. So now the data is loading. So like how see uh, how it will work and all. So we'll go with the syntax. How the dates in period will be. So dates in period. Open bracket. Date comma start date comma number of intervals number of interval intervals comma interval okay interval this is the syntax case okay this is the syntax so here we need to provide the date and then start date means from where you want to you know so give the range like so and uh, so from that start date. So like what are the intervals? Like it may be minus one, minus two, minus three. So anything, okay. The number, whatever you provide, okay. Minus one, minus two, or minus three, or minus four, anything, okay. So that is the number, number of intervals. And then intervals means like uh, you, we have intervals like year and uh, quarter and the month we have and the day, day we have. So whatever the things, okay. So whatever you specify and then the number you specify the start date will go to that uh it will minus from the start date will uh, from the start date will, it will minus uh, like if you specify suppose month so it will minus four months actually from the start date okay whatever the date you are given so if you provide as an interval as a month and then minus four so it will take you to the minus four months and then if you do some average uh, average sales are you know uh sum of sales amount then it will give that it will take you to there and then from okay from uh, date to okay from max date to and then minus four months it will take and then um, it will show so okay let let's me let me go here and then we'll see practically so what is that okay so we have uh, you no know, data is loaded now we have a date and then uh, you know amount so let's go with the you know date hierarchy this normal date okay so whatever the table okay so we have copied the same data is a year here so the came that came here so now what we are trying to say what we are trying to understand what is dates in period okay so just uh, go with the new measure i have click on new measure and then uh, so uh, i want to go with the last three months amount okay three months amount last three months amount okay three months Amount. Okay, you can specify like that and then so calculate uh, some of sales amount uh, comma let's close this bracket comma and then you can use your function okay then you can shift enter it will move to the next line so we can use the uh, dates in period okay dates in period so this is the syntax here okay just now i have written right so this is the syntax there okay so and uh, return a date from the given period okay whatever the period you have given so the dates will be moved to the uh, the given period okay so here date means okay so the date whatever the test date we have so it will go with the date and then comma sorry, comma um, comma so dates in period is not completed so we have to provide the start date so for start date what i'm uh, giving okay so you can go with the max date okay from max date i want to go with the uh, last three months okay so you can go you can use max or latest anything is fine 
so you can max uh, you can use max at latest so i'm using max date okay so table date so just table date okay i'm going with the max table date and see so far it's okay it's entering uh, automatically so max date is closed and then comma so number of intervals i want to go with the minus three months okay so what is the amount for minus three months okay and then so dates in period bracket is closed and then so you can go with the calculate bracket closed so yeah this is and then done okay click enter so so now we'll see the uh, this last three months card amount and then we'll test okay whether it is working properly or not okay so this is the last three months amount from the uh, last date okay from the last three months amount so from the max date okay sorry i have provided only one month okay sorry for that so i'm going with the three months okay so here i have mentioned the three months so it is uh you know seven thousand two hundred so we will check in excel okay whether it is giving the proper results or not okay let me go here so max date means this is the max date in in given dates case okay in given dates so six four uh you uh, know uh, zero to uh, sorry 2022 is the max date from there it is going with the so it's doing the sum for the last three months okay so this is the uh, sixth uh, first month and this is the second month and the fourth month okay this is the this one okay so if you take the sum okay if you take the sum of this one so see here so i have whichever i have selected so this is the 7200 so so from the starting date so i have given the max date max date means okay it's going with the uh, you know last date last date of that uh, you know latest date of that dates given dates and then it's doing the sum from the from there to last three months okay hope you understand okay just uh, it's taking just i'm doing the sum guys okay just uh, you can take uh, so from okay so uh, sixth month fifth month and fourth month fifth till fourth month you have to go and then you have to do some so here it is showing some 7200 okay hope you understand okay that's that way it will work okay so whatever the period you will provide whatever the period you will provide so like the if you provide like some four months it will give the four months amount okay it will so just click enter so it will give the four months four months amount is 9600 okay let me go here in excel you can check that okay four months also okay let me go here so this is the uh, april month and then you have to go with the may month also sorry april may so some march so till here okay how much amount it is 9600 see it is showing 9600 so you can go here and then see 9600 same is getting okay so that is the receipt period even you can go with the average also okay suppose average i want to only two months average okay so two months average so here i will go with the average okay so from the latest day to average average means what you know that um you know formula right average formula so like uh, how uh, average formula will work so I will explain you guys, okay, if you don't know what is average, uh, average formula, how average formula will work, I will explain, okay, not a problem. Just a minute. What happened? So average, calculate, over bracket, average amount, comma, so comma is missing. So that is the reason, okay. So let's enter. Okay, so average means um, no, total amount. Okay, so last two months. Okay, so from latest date to two months means uh, here from here. Okay, sum sum of this amount. Okay, sum of this amount by count. So sum of this amount means like uh, so how much it is auto sum. So this is the five thousand amount, and then count how many transactions we have. One, two, three, four. So like so five, and six, seven, eight, nine. Right. Okay, so okay, one one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, uh, so nine. So this uh, equal to this divided by nine. So that is the average. Okay, see, same average we are getting. Okay, so if you want to zoom it, I can zoom it. Guys, okay, so I can zoom it. So hope you are getting, so it's round figured. So if you want the same number, so let's zoom it. Okay, so here we are also getting the same number. See, so that way dates in period will work guys. Okay, hope you hope it makes sense. So even we can go with the dynamic also. So that we'll discuss in the next video. So, so 
in this video you understand so what is basic about the dates in period okay what is the basic understanding like what is the behavior of the you uh, know dates in period hope you like my video uh, please uh, share and subscribe my channel guys okay if you have watched uh, if you watch first time so please uh, subscribe my channel okay thank you